Hey everyone, today, we're building something super cool, a pure CSS 3D flip button. Yep, no JavaScript, no frameworks, just good all CSS flexing its muscles. So let's dive into this awesome project together. A big thank you to our Patreon supporters, your contributions mean the world to us. If you'd like access to the full source code and want to support us, consider subscribing to our Patreon for just $3 a month. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Code Instinct YouTube channel, with only 3.9% of viewers subscribing. Your support helps us grow and create more valuable content. Now, let's jump into today's project and build a stunning CSS 3D flip button with hover effects. You're going to love it. Ooh, that's kind of small. At the heart of this project lies a simple yet powerful structure, a div, with the class button container that acts as the stage for our 3D flip button. Inside it, we've got an empty A tag. The A tag will become the interactive element that flips when it's hovered. Now that we've covered the HTML structure, let's dive into the CSS, where the real magic happens, turning this empty A tag into a stunning 3D flip button. The body styling sets the overall look and layout of the page. We're using the font space mono to give it a clean, techy vibe, with bold text and all uppercase letters for that sharp, modern feel. The padding and margin are set to zero to remove any extra spacing around the edges. The display flex centers everything perfectly in the middle of the screen, horizontally and vertically while the height is set to 100% of the viewport height, ensuring it fills the entire screen. Finally, the background color is a soft gray, creating a neutral and clean backdrop for our button. The button container class is where the 3D magic begins. It's set to position relative so that everything inside it positions itself based on this container. The width is 320 pixels and the height is 100 pixels, giving us a nice, balanced area for the button. The perspective 1000 pixels is what creates the 3D effect, Think of it as setting the distance from which you're viewing the button, making the flip look more realistic and dynamic. The styling for the button container A is where the button starts to take shape. It's positioned absolutely within the container, filling it completely with width 100% and height 100%. The transform style Preserve 3D ensures that the 3D transformations look smooth and realistic, while the transform translate Z-50 pixels moves the button slightly back in the 3D space to set up the flip effect. The transition transform 0.5 seconds adds a smooth animation when the button flips, making it feel polished and interactive. Finally, the cursor pointer changes the mouse cursor to indicate that this button is clickable, inviting users to interact with it. The before and after pseudo elements are styled identically to create the two faces of the 3D flip button. First, we use display flex to make them flexible containers, which allows us to easily center their content. The justify content center aligns the content horizontally in the middle while Align Item Center ensures it's also vertically centered. Next, we set their position to Absolute, so they're positioned relative to the parent button container. Each face has a width of 320 pixels and a height of 100 pixels, matching the dimensions of the container. To give the button a clean and defined border, we add a 4-pixel solid border in dark gray. The box sizing border box ensures that the border is included within the element's total width and height, preventing any layout issues. For the text inside, we use a font size of 24 pixels and set the text color to dark gray, ensuring it stands out against the button's background. These styles create the foundation for both the front and back faces of the button, making them visually consistent and ready for further customization. The before pseudo element represents the front face of our 3D button. It has a bright yellow background color, making it visually striking and attention grabbing. The text hover, this is added using the content property, inviting users to interact with the button. To position it correctly in 3D space, we use Transform Rotate Y0 Degrees, Translate Z50 Pixels. This keeps the front face flat and pushes it slightly forward along the Z-axis, creating the illusion of depth when the button flips. It's the side that users see first. Setting the stage for the flip animation, the after pseudo element represents the back face of our 3D button. It has a soft gray background color, giving it a clean and subtle appearance. The text, now click this is added using the content property, guiding users on what to do next after the flip. To position it in 3D space, we use transform rotate x 90 degrees translate z 50 pixels. This rotates the back face 90 degrees along the x axis and pushes it forward along the z axis, making it perfectly aligned for the flip animation. It's hidden from view initially but smoothly appears as the button flips, completing the interactive effect. The hover effect is where the magic happens. When you hover over the button, the transform translate Z-50 pixels, rotate X-90 degrees kicks in. 
This moves the button slightly back along the Z-axis and rotates it 90 degrees along the X-axis, creating the flip animation. The front face with the yellow background disappears, revealing the back face with the soft gray background. It's a smooth and interactive transition that brings the button to life, making it both functional and fun to use. And here's the final result, a sleek, interactive 3D flip button that's as fun to use as it is to look at. When you hover over it, the button smoothly flips from the bright yellow front width to the soft gray back with the transition is clean, professional, and eye-catching, proving just how powerful pure CSS can be. It's simple yet effective, making it a perfect addition to any project where you want to add a touch of interactivity and style. And there you have it, our 3D flip button in action. I hope you enjoyed building this cool 3D flip button and learned something new along the way. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe to the Code Instinct channel, it's free and it helps us create more awesome content like this. Your support keeps this channel alive and allows us to bring you even more coding magic. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Happy coding!